I think we can do better than a ham sandwich, but uh, that's kind of the bar that we're at right now. Um, and this is imperative. Now, here's my worry. And, and, and by the way, I, I am absolutely going to support our nominee. And the 23 or whatever, how many people who aren't going to wind up the nominee need to quickly rally around the person who is. So just want to get that on the record. Um, now, I, I will say that, that um, Democrats, God bless us, sometimes overthink Things, especially when it comes to this idea of what they call electability. And I'm very worried that we will try too hard to play it safe. And as a consequence, uh, wind up looking like we're just offering a return to the status quo. And I can tell you where I come from, in the heart of the so-called Rust Belt, that's going to leave a lot of people cold. People want to hear what we're going to do that's new and different and better. Because a lot of folks didn't even like this president. They voted for him uh, as a way to kind of burn the house down because nothing worked. It was a message to the system. And if we look like we are the system, we're going to have trouble. Uh, now, there are all kinds of reasons that obviously I think that I would make the best candidate. Uh, coming from the middle class, coming from the American Midwest, having the instinctive vocabulary of a mayor who has to interact with your residents and constituents every day. When you're a mayor, you eat what you cook. There is no kind of force field of, of, of uh, uh, advisors in between you and the people that you serve. Um, also, frankly, not to be too political, but I think the fact that on a debate stage the president will have to stand next to an American war veteran and explain his decision to pretend to be disabled in order to avoid something. <laughs> but again, I think the biggest thing is the discipline not to get sucked into being on his show. Because if you're on his show, even when you're winning, you're losing. All the energy that goes his way, even when it's criticism. It just turns into energy. So the key has to be to basically, you, again, you can't let what he says go unchallenged. But you got to kind of give him the crazy uncle treatment, uh, kind of <laughs> stiff arm what he has to say and then return right back to our message, because our message is a winning one. And that's, I believe, how we make sure that we win.